look, don't get me wrong. I love Cincinnati. I love living here. But there are some things that I wish I would have known before coming out here. And I'm going to give you the top five that you really need to know. And honestly, a couple of them may actually sway you from coming out here. Now let's talk about it. Hey everybody, I'm Bill Fritz and I am a licensed agent in the area. So I work with a team of experts that help people move or relocate to Cincinnati. So if that is what you're looking for, call, text, email. If you're thinking about it, just take my email, take my number down and hold on to it. Reach out to me. So anyway, I try to get a couple videos out every week. Um, right now I'm waiting on my son. He's in uh, getting his wisdom teeth pulled and so I thought I'd come out to the car and get this video out to you. Anyway, like I was saying, there are some issues with Cincinnati. As much as I love it here, there are some issues out here. Uh, I was just going to go over the top five. So let's just get into it. Uh, number one is the weather. Now, don't get me wrong. We don't have the extreme weather that, like, we don't have a tornado alley or... We don't have the lingering blizzards that the East Coast has. But what we have is it's very unpredictable and kind of extreme. I, I don't know if you remember the, the Arctic blast that came through over the winter. Well, it took us down to negative 40 here. The next day, it was 50. So we had a 90 degree weather change and i mean as uncommon as that is it's not uncommon to have a huge switch like that in fact four days ago it was 75 degrees and here this is what this was me driving into work this morning it, it was it was icing it was a blinding snow it just it came out of nowhere but i mean that's how cincinnati weather is You'll have 70, 75 degree days in the winter and snow in the spring. Um, we'll have like major storms will be heading our way and we'll be preparing for it. We were supposed to have like two and a half feet of snow a couple of years back. Everybody went out and bought their, when a blizzard is coming, everybody buys their milk, their bread and their eggs. I, I assume they just make French toast, but all the stores were out of everything. And when the storm came or when the blizzard hit us overnight, it hit that Ohio Valley and gone. We got no snow. I think, I don't even think we got a quarter inch. Like I said, we don't have the extreme weather that other areas have in the country. Ours is just very unpredictable. So number two kind of goes along with that is allergies like all this rain and snow and everything it just it builds the mold up um, we have a lot of allergies here our air quality is just it's not the best we have uh, uh, several coal burning factories out here so that that hurts the air quality with the pollution uh, being that we're just surrounded by mountains and we're not a very large city but with a lot a huge populace and also with a lot of traffic adds the to the pollution now take that and mix it with all of the uh pollen that we have out here we have tree pollen plant pollen flower pollen there are days in the spring i have a green car that i will go out and my car is yellow because of all of the pollen out here. Uh, like I said, you have oak, they're mold. You, if you have allergies, they're going to be put to the test. Um, if you're wondering if you have allergies, yeah, you're going to find out. Uh, if you're an ENT or an allergist and you're looking for a place to, to make your stand, come to Cincinnati because it's, it's real here. That's, that's for sure. All right, number three, you are forced to pick a side. Uh, 
I-75 runs straight up through the city. You have your, your west side and you have your east side. And when you move out here, you kind of need to decide where it is that you want to be. Um, a lot of people that live on the east don't move out west, and a lot of people out west don't move out east. Sometimes they don't even work out east. Like the west siders won't go to the east to work, and east siders won't go to the west to work. Now, that's not always true, of course. Uh, some people just move downtown to avoid it, or they move uh, like up in Westchester and Mason area, even though that's also Mason's kind of considered the east side. But it's kind of a Hatfield v. McCoy kind of kind of mentality. Uh, it's all in good fun, or is it? But you will be forced to make your decision. All right, so number four. When you hear the phrase three-way, four-way, five-way, that's not really an uncommon thing out here. Cincinnati does their chili different. They do a plate of spaghetti with chili poured over it and then a mound of cheddar cheese. That is your three-way. Now, if you add beans or onions to it, that's your four-way. Beans and onions, that's your five-way. Now, chili just doesn't go over spaghetti out here. It goes over hot dogs, french fries, uh, it's nachos. It's, it is such a huge staple. And there's a, a chili parlor on every street corner out here. It's the, the staples are Skyline and Gold Star, but they also have a lot of uh, really popular local chili parlors. And once you get it hooked to it, you, you can't not have it anymore. You, you start to crave it. So, yeah, we do chili different. All right, so number five. There's a lot of tradition in this city. Uh, it dates back, I mean, it, it dates back when settlers were coming in off the Ohio River. Um, Cincinnati's been called Porkopolis. And in that became the Flying Pig Marathon. Huge event out here. But people will dress up as pigs and pig costumes and pig masks and noses. And it's huge. So that's, it is a big thing. The, the Flying Pig Marathon is, is big. Then you have Oktoberfest, where people dress up their wiener dogs and race them on Thursdays, on the Thursday before Oktoberfest. Huge event. Hundreds of people come out. Thousands of people come out to watch it. And then all of Oktoberfest is a huge event. It's the number two largest Oktoberfest in the world and number one in the country. So it, it is a big deal out here. Uh, also, calling in sick on opening day. Hey, everybody wants to go to the opening day parade. It's just, it should be an, an, it should be a state holiday or at least a city holiday where business is shut down because everybody calls in sick. So if you call in sick, you're, you'll probably find yourself standing next to either a coworker or or your boss even. Um, everybody comes down to the parade, then they go to the uh, out in front of Great American Ballpark. All the streets are shut down. It's a huge party. There's bands, and beer trucks, and food trucks. All the bars are open. Thousands of people flock to that area. It is a sea of red. It's it is so fun. It's great when the weather's nice. It's it's always fifty fifty because again we go back to the weather situation. Uh, you never know what you're going to get. But when the weather is nice, it is fun. And the lastly is there's uh, Labor Day fireworks. It's the end of summer fireworks. It used to be WEBN. And now I believe Toyota's taking it over. Um, but it's Rosy Fireworks puts on a spectacular show out here. And people come from 
all around. There are hundreds of thousands of people out here to watch these fireworks over the river. And we have a lot of fun with it because we it's almost a battle between us and Kentucky as far as who can be the loudest. And yeah, there's again, there's food trucks, there's beer trucks, there's games going on. People are out at seven in the morning putting out chairs and blankets. And that's just some of the traditions that happen out here. There are so many. I, I mean, you can get into the soft serve ice cream parlors or whippy doos or you know, they're, they're called so many different things. A lot of different food out here, different local beers. There's just, there is so much tradition. You really have to learn it all. And it takes a while. All right. So those are the five things that you really need to learn if you're going to be moving out to Cincinnati, or at least you need to know what you're getting into when you come out here. Uh, so again, I'm going to be making tons of video, moving to, living in, everything you need to know about living in Cincinnati. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe. And like I said, I work with a team of experts that help people move and relocate to Cincinnati every day. Call, text, email, and we will get back with you. So until next time.